What's up guys, Kamil here. Check this thing out. This tool is called Double Lap Flaring Tool. For me, it's a brake line flaring tool. So my uncle was a mechanic, he's now retired, doesn't work anymore, doesn't need it anymore, and he decided to give it to me, and I'm super happy. It's like the greatest present you can give the person who likes cars. There are other tools that I would really want, um, just saying. This gift is super cool because I was already looking into getting one for myself. And I looked into the cheap ones. My uncle never gets cheap stuff. He always gets the best tools. So uh, that will definitely live longer than I will. In today's episode, we are going to work on the Silver E46, like we do for the longest time ever. I'm tired of this car as well, trust me. I want to work on the interior, I'm hoping to get it like 90% done at least. And for that we need to try wet clean, um, take some trash out of there and put some interior pieces in there. Let's get started because we don't have much time and I don't want to bore you with my talk and let's just do stuff. Do you know all these YouTube shows that people say, oh, it smells so, so bad, I wish you could smell it, it's terrible, blah, blah, blah. Well, I can specifically describe you how this one smells. It smells like the cat peed on it. And how do I know that? Because I saw a little tiny sweet paws of, made of dirt on this. And during the winter, I've seen cats running all around the barn. So basically, I know it's a cat. Front and back seats are wet and dry cleaned. Now I can go inside, start vacuuming everything and start putting the like carts and the couches back into the car. I really hope it won't stink anymore, but if it will, well, either way, if it stinks or not, I'm gonna take the car to my buddy who has an ozone machine and ozone generator and we're gonna ozone the crap out of this car so it's fresh and not smelly for the new owner.
Okay, I made so much progress today, I can't believe it. All that you have seen me do right now, today, was what I planned for today. And I have a little bit time left to do a little bit more, which I'm super happy about. The coolest thing you can do is finish the project that you don't really want to do, but you have to. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm so close to being done with this car and being able to get rid of it. Let's do those additional things and see where it gets us. Huge progress today guys. So honestly I could put the front uh, driver's seat in but it's still a little bit too wet for me to carry it and do it like properly. Um, so I'm gonna leave it for another day. The interior is like it's honestly 90% complete like no lying. I have like small things to bolt in it's like seriously. 90% done. No more interior assembly videos because I've done way too many of them and well it's just a front seat now so no point of making a video about it. If everything goes according to plan the next episode will be first engine start, coolant bleeding and power steering bleeding. So stay tuned for that right now, stay safe, hydrated, have fun and bye!